What's up, YouTube? Man, we back with another WNBA reaction today. We got more Kayla Clark in Indiana Fever. They playing against the Phoenix Mercury. Um, I think the last game I just I just did a couple days ago. They played. Uh, uh, what's it? Ah, I can't remember, but the veteran, the ah man, I can't remember, but. They had a horrible. Uh, they coach was a did a horrible job, man. They couldn't stop the backdoor cuts. Oh, it's the Mystics. They couldn't stop the backdoor cuts. A very winnable game that they lost. And Clark had a hell of a game. I think like 30 and 13 assists. It was crazy. She's she starting off like that again. She literally started the last game like that. A three on the left wing. Fever lost on Wednesday, but Caitlin Clark was brilliant. 29 points, 13 assists. Okay, she had 29, not 30. You might as well round that up. I ain't gonna lie. Good pass, just how it was drew up. You got Brittany Griner out there. That's tough, Bucket Clark. Mitchell. Yeah, okay. Brittany Griner with the spin. Oh, got rebound. I am one. Taking care of the ball. It's Where uh where for, oh whoa whoa where's to uh where's Diana Taurasi at? Ain't this supposed to be a big game? With no, a lot of people was talking about no, they want to tune in for this because what Tarasi said in the off season. Is this their first time playing them or not? Because I ain't seen nothing. I just realized I ain't heard nothing all year about her playing Diana Tarasi. Taking care of the ball, it's priority number one here tonight. The Fever with just one turnover. Oh my God! Left, left, left her in the dust. Rossi, the league's all-time leading scorer in That's volume a good margin. Here is Copper lining up and knocking down a three. Be well aware of where Copper's at. Clark bouncing. Boston finds some space good and pass. knocks it down. And in the end, this is where Caitlin Clark wants to play fast. Good pass. I'm telling y'all, bro. This is where she has sales, man. In the open court, passing the ball. Come on. Oh, my gosh. She's just dropping downs, bro. Every play has been set up by Clark, literally. And y'all try to tell me this is not the rookie of the year, bro. She has more responsibilities as a point guard of a team. She has the ball in her hand all the time. She has more responsibilities. And this is no shade of none but then Andrew Reese. I understand y'all wanna no, you wanna be Caitlin Clark haters and, and it's not even about hating, bro. Andrew Reese having a hell of a season. Actually, she's my second favorite player behind Clark. Real talk. And she here in Chicago, where I'm at. But if we gonna be real, if we gonna be real, bro, we gotta be real. It's, it's a lot of people that just hate, like to hate. It's, it, it's, the, it's a hype. It's a train to hate on Caitlin Clark. It's like, it's cool to hate on Caitlin Clark right now. I'm telling you, this is like the Magic versus Larry Bird rivalry, bro. Say what you want about about it not being about race not being a little bit involved. It is definitely a little bit involved. That's just with everything in this in this country, bro. But it, I don't think the rookie of the year is really up for the bait. 14, 15, 20, 30 double doubles in a row. I don't give a damn. The better player is Clayton Clark. And that's all they got to be said. I ain't gonna lie, they double teams are trash. Brittany Grind spinning right out of them every time. Smith steps into a three. She got that. She got that uncle shot. Let me see that Neff. That's that. Let me see that Neff. 
Smith steps into a Let me see that real quick, Neil. At the barbecue shot. It's that balance for Indiana between wanting to play fast but not out of control as Natasha Mack finishes on the high school call it organized chaos, meaning being able to play fast but under control. And here's Clark. Dang, that's something my coach used to always say, control chaos. Wednesday four, she got into some foul trouble. Never really able to get into the flow of the game as this is a good pass. Good ball movement. Last league here over the last few weeks. Copper pulls up and knocks it down. Leah Copper now has set the second leading score. Indiana has made it a point to try to establish Boston here as Boston gets inside and lays it in. There, a nice easy layup there for the two. There's Copper back on the attack, draws the foul, and Copper will head to the free. So. Kelsey Mitchell will shoot the free throw for Indiana. And Somebody must have got a take. On their last few possessions. And Phoenix really leaning heavily down her own rebound. Cunningham on the drive, floats it up and draws the foul. On Indiana. Eye on Friday nights all season long. Looking forward to watching that one. Can know where the defense is. That's a great steal there by Lexi Hall. Oh, with Copper giving chase, and Hull draws the foul. And she came in as a shooter. Not her game uh, to do and do very well. She was guarding best players. I wanted to go knowing that that you did exactly what you can. And yet another steal here by the Phoebe. Their defense is great. This time it's Boston who feeds to the game. With under three minutes to go in the third. How did that happen, bro? Hot, come on, get, man, get your ass up. That's how white women fall in scary movies, bro. Get your ass up. Easy, easy. Angle out, y'all done let, she didn't got comfortable. Her handles, angle out, she been working on her handles, real talk. They were suspect at the beginning. I've been said that, though. If you go way back and watch... Some of my Iowa reactions, I said Clark need to work on her handles. Cause when she get a tough defender in front of her, she get a little shaky with it. She clearly has been working on it. And she she's clearly way more comfortable right now than she was at the start of the year. And y'all got to remember, bro, she barely had any time off. The national championship was this day. The next week was the draft. And then she back in training camp, getting ready for the season. Like, very little time off to really work on her game and develop that, like, she didn't have a real offseason, bro. But now she didn't settle in. She didn't got comfortable in these last few games. Triple-double. 29 points, 13 assists after that. She cooking a day. Like, I'm telling you, it's getting scary. It's finna get real scary for the WNBA, man. Look at this. You can't stay in front of her cooking. 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 It's a cook session. Welcome to my cooking channel. That's a good action right there. Good back door. I need to see Indiana play like this every game. Good pass. They got to play like this every game, man. See, that, that last game really was on the coaching staff, man. If you go watch that reaction versus the Mystics, they, they coach did a horrible job. She never adjusted to the play. They were running the same plays over and over, killing them, and they never adjusted, bro. Like, that was a very winnable game. You coming off the win against the Aces. Um, I think they lost to the Liberty, but, you, you know, you, you, the last game was a, a, a big-time game they dropped. They should have won that game. Today, let's see if they hold on to this lead. Another reminder, man. Go sub to Jordi Ariac Sports. That's just too easy. That's just too easy. Go subscribe to Jordi Ariac Sports, man. It's going to be in the bio. Some reaction, some sports reaction, not going to get posted here on the main channel. So, yeah, I got to go sub up. Oh my god, that's tough.
largest lead of the season. As Mack pulls down the rebound and draws together. the foul. Be a little bit closer and not see that light of day. Now, she also has the ability not only to how do you decipher what to give up and, and live by. That's what Phoenix. Oh, good ball movement here. Here's Melissa Smith backing in on Copper. Fades, fires, and can connects. Boston battling. Boston. You embrace that contact. Great job. So you want the footwork. So fun to watch. Well, still loose on the floor. Mitch has been really active defensively. The pass. That's a dime. With six. She will go for that record on Sunday as the Fever are in Minnesota. And there's Melissa Smith. We talking about double doubles. I'm almost certain Clark finna have another double double this game for sure. This year and just the determination, the passion, uh, the willingness to win and get out there and make a play. Cunningham knocks down a step back three. Not been their night, but the Phoenix have a Mercury have a really good opportunity. Once the playoff comes around, it's done inside the arc. Here is Clark with some space. Clark behind the back. Oh, she <laughs> so This shit looks so easy for her, bro. This is crazy. Defensive breakdown. So being able to come back. And See, really cooking. For the anything bad right now. I promise you, if you go watch any of my early reactions of Clark, man, I'm talking about at Iowa in college. I literally said, I said, but when she get comfortable in the league, I said before she even get comfortable in the league, her number one attribute is gonna be her passing. I said it's not even her three point shooting. That's just the most exciting part of her game. It's the three point shooting. But I said the best part of her game is her passing. I literally said that, man. It's her best part. That's why I said it's crazy that they didn't put her on the USA team. Ain't no, I, ain't, I don't know another point guard in the WNBA. Y'all let me know if it's, if it, if if I'm wrong, if it's another one. That move was tough. But I don't know another point guard that passes as good as her. Oh my gosh, she's shifty. We don't usually, you know, keep watching 30-point blowouts, but, you know, Clark out there getting shifty. What a special opportunity, too. You have to be ready when your name is called. Indiana got to play like this every night, man. The Mercury are shorthanded, and it's been all Indiana tonight. Smith driving on the baseline. Good position. Now, I, I ain't seen the Mercury play. This is my first time reacting to them this year, so if this... This is this probably a different game, I guess, if Tarasi playing. I'm not sure. I don't know how good the Mercury is. This has been a really nice bounce back game for Aliyah Boston after getting into some foul trouble on Wednesday and struggling to stay on the floor. That Kelsey Mitchell is that type of player there. She only needs to see the ball going one time. Kelsey Mitchell with 25 points here tonight. That backcourt. That's tough coming uh, in from off the bench. So wide open three. You might not. You might want to get up and down a little bit. Get your legs going. Game. I haven't figured it out, and I've been playing the game all my Damn. life. So that is a special skill to have. And Alyssa Smith off the dribble or or behind that arc. And Copper draws the foul on the other end. Better to go. She's super competitive. Uh, she has a lot in her bag. People are going to want to check. Another thing that the zone has an opportunity to do is slow down that fever offense. So the tempo. 2% inside the arc. Cunningham launches and delivers. Uh-oh, I got to yeah, make me sit up. Hold on. Cut to 14. They understand. It is hard to be up and keep the lead. What a big basket. That bucket right there ended a 17 to 0. Phoenix Mercury run. She getting to the free throw line. She's not finishing no layups, but she getting to the line. Osborne, they added Griner to the injury report in the second quarter. She's not come back. And Copper is leading the charge. Damn, they just had Brittany Griner is out. They cut it to 12. They, hey. Problems are not able to penetrate as well. That's a good shot. Indiana back up 14. Here's Copper on the attack. Extra pass. Cunningham wide open. Oh, shit. 11 point game. Indiana better lock in. Copper's been excellent. Copper on the Why can't they cannot stop her? And it is a still four minutes left to go. Everything runs. They can't stop her. Oh, my God. Another, another foul. 
uh, for her team. She got to make those. Without her fellow American Olympians. Clark can get Indiana back on track, but instead Clark turns it over. It's a two-on-one. Copper will take it herself. And Yo, are they choking this game? What is going on? Literally, I, they were up 30. How is it down to six, bro? Clark turns it over. It's a two-on-one. Copper will take it herself. And Copper finishes. Found. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way, bro. Once again, this is what I mean by coaching. I said this last game. You got one player bringing, the, bringing them back from 30. One player. Literally one player. You telling me you can't you can't come up with a defensive scheme to stop one person? Jesus Christ, bro. This is such... Oh, my God. How? How is this happening? Copper back on the drive. She's tough, though. Copper's tough. Very clear. When, when it's tough Copper's when tough. To shine, that's when they step up. That's exactly what she's doing. Smith gets inside. That's a tough bucket. They needed that. They needed that. And one of the strongest stretches here of the WNBA season. Matt goes up. Can't get the roll. Ah, they needed that bucket. Boston finds some space. And just that dog that Copper has in her. Uh, nah, Copper it. definitely a dog. Show. Sure. It's, it's a special thing. And knocks down the. Indiana trying to look inside. Going through this zone. That's a good pass. That's a good pass. They needed that. That might be the dagger. That might be the dagger. One more dime. Oh my God, bro. One more dime. Look at this pass. This is beautiful, bro. This is real life beautiful, bro. Perfect touch and everything. You telling me they didn't want this on the USA team? It didn't even have nothing. Clark wouldn't even have to have scored that much. But she would have got everyone involved. You tell me this. They, they didn't want this. They didn't want this at the point guard position. Are you shitting me, bro? Who the hell makes these decisions, bro? Passion on the court, but what she does off the court and how she mentors, how she's able to give. Still have one timeout. Copper driving on hole. Good defense there, Lexi Hole. Oh my God, she is cooking their ass, bro. This is crazy. This is crazy. Why are you not sending a double at her? Why are we not sending a double at her, bro? You know she cooking. You got so and so. I don't know. You got Su Susie on her and shit. Cooking her ass. Show her ass off me. And one. My God. She almost wrote. It's no Brittany Griner, no Diana Taurasi. She damn down there single handedly brought them back. Nah, I am worried. What this team would have did if they had both of them healthy. Well, if Brittany played the full game and uh, Tarashi played. With 13 assists. So they can't even stop one of them. Of the assist per game lead in the W Boston. Cunningham at the buzzer. All right, Indiana held on. Got the dub, man. They, 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 they made it scary for a second. I think the league got cut all the way to six. Um, Ain't no comments. Uh, let's go check the boss score so we get up out of here. We got Indiana Fever versus um, who they just played? Phoenix. All right, man. Here we go. For Phoenix, Brittany Griner only had four points. She only played 11 minutes before she left. I ain't gonna lie. She probably would have had a way better game. This probably would have been much closer. Um, Cooper had 36. My God. 36, bro. That's crazy. Boston had 21, 13, and 5. That's a really good game. That's really, really good. I like that. Filled the stat sheet up. 21, 13, and 5. Clark. 
Double double, 20 points, 13 assists, bro. Two games in a row, she didn't have like 13 assists. Like, she's really cooking. Like, this is more impressive. 20, 13, and 6 is much more impressive to me than 12 points and 10 rebounds. I, I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm just, I ain't, I, I'm not no Andrew Reese hater, nothing like that. Like, could people think you can't argue or debate you, you a hater of the other person? Nah, hell no. Nah, I fuck with Andrew Reese. But I'm tired of people talking about she the rookie of the year. Like, they trying to act like she really the rookie of the year. Y'all niggas finna go make these bets on FanDuel and shit and lose all y'all money. I'm telling y'all. It's going to be Caitlin Clark. 2013 and 6. Her last three games been incredible. Uh, 28 for Mitchell. No shield bucket. And a double-double for Smith. 14 and 10. Hey, man. Good game. Like I said, man. Y'all go subscribe to Jordy O React Sports. going to be in the bio. Go subscribe, man. That's where um, most videos are going to be on from now on. And if you're new here, hit the sub button. Leave a like. Gang, we out.